Hello, and welcome back to Conquering Finale. My name is Jason Lafredo, and we are once again managing the score manager. Today we're looking at percussion in the score manager. And if you saw the first pulverizing percussion video, you may have heard me talking about this uh, magical four-layer cake um, that I, I use as an analogy for um, percussion in Finale. And today we're talking about the top layer, the fourth layer. So basically what happens within uh, the score manager when you're dealing with percussion. So here I am in the score manager. The only instrument I have here is a timpani, which is technically a percussion instrument, but that is a pitched percussion instrument, uh, which is not what we're talking about today. We're basically talking about unpitched percussion. And if I go down to this add instrument thing here, we can choose all. You can see that there's three things for percussion, pitched percussion, drums, and percussion. So again, we're not talking about any of the pitched percussion because all of these behave the same as any other instrument uh, in Finale with uh, key signatures and clefts and all that stuff. So we're gonna ignore that. The one thing that I will say about this though, is that if you're looking for tycos, uh, tycos are considered a pitched percussion, So, um, which I guess is correct, but I, I just never realized that. So um, if you're looking for tycos, they're in the pitched percussion section. Uh, but what we're talking about is drums and percussion, and Finale divides us in two different ways. The drums, it considers basically anything with a head, so that's why you're seeing snare drums and bass drums and tenor drums, djembes, bongos, all of those things have drum heads to it. Percussion is basically anything else. So this is where you'll get your jingo bells, your tambourine, your triangles, and a whole bunch of other stuff. I should mention that in the drum section is where we'll also get the drum set, which is technically a little bit of both of those things, but uh, I guess it made sense to put the drum set in the drums section. And there is a lot in both of these categories. So I'm in the drum section here and I can scroll down and you can see there's just a ton of instruments. A lot of these are ethnic instruments from uh, the Indian culture, uh, African, uh, Chinese, same thing with the percussion section here. There's just a ton of instruments to choose from. Now I do find it, it is sometimes easier to narrow down your search if you use this left column. So this, with this all selected here, you press the drums and percussion, it's showing you all the drums and all the percussion. Uh, but if you narrow it down a little bit, if you go into the, the world, for example, then you can only just see the the um, the ethnic uh, drums. Or if you go into marching band, it will be reduced even further just to the ones that are kind of relevant to marching band. So uh, especially with the percussion, I recommend using this left column to help narrow down your search. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start adding some percussion instruments here. Let's just start with the drum set. And you'll see that it puts it in the score manager. And one interesting thing to note is that when Finale adds a percussion instrument, the first percussion instrument that it adds, it will add it to, uh, or it will assign it to channel 10. Uh, what happens after that point, since 10 is already taken up, it will just assign it to the next possible channel. So let's go ahead and add another one here. We'll go into the percussion section this time and add the triangle. All right, and I'm just gonna add a couple more uh, just to show you what's going on here. Let's go back to drums and find the bongos. There we go. And what else do we want? Let's do an ethnic instrument in the drums category called African log drums. I do have a rhyme or reason why I'm picking these particular and I'll get to that in a second. Now, in the first video on percussion, I talked about a little bit the devices and the sounds, the percussion sounds and, and uh, the devices. And this is kind of important in percussion for a number of reasons. Um, uh, first of all, each sound has a limited set of samples in it. So, you know, certain uh, instruments are only going to be found on a particular sound, which is why the African log drums here pulled up the basic African percussion. You wouldn't be able to get that sound from the percussion toys, for example, which is where you find uh, the triangle. And in addition to that, uh, different devices, so in this case I have Garrison, Note Performer, and Smart Synth uh, set up here at the top. Each of these different devices will have a different set of available sounds that you can use. Now from the Garrison set, it's kind of hard to figure out like which ones are available. They will, they will usually give you the most relevant ones at the top here, which is handy. Um, but the other ones can be found, you know, in the percussion section, although this lists some pitched and non-pitched percussion. Uh, but also in the world section, you'll find some other percussion things. I think there's a djembe in here somewhere. There it is. Um, so they're kind of spread out a little bit. Uh, and then when you do something like switch over to smart music, 
you're going to get a completely different set of sounds that are available within the smart music device. And in this case, it's just setting up standard. Uh, it's basically the standard uh, MIDI map. And you can see if you go down to drums and percussion, there are a few more that are available in the uh, smart music set. And Note Performer will have its own set as well. The What's interesting to know is that the when you add instruments, this is kind of a weird thing about Finale and how it handles percussion is that not all of these instruments are available in all of the sounds within the devices. And it's sort of impossible to know uh, whether or not you're choosing an instrument that's going to actually be set up correctly. Because the thing is, when you have uh, the devices set up, you know, in this case, Garreton is set as the default device. So whenever I add an instrument, it's going to add a Garreton instrument. But if I happen to choose a drum sound that's only available in the smart music uh, device, it's not going to automatically change this to smart music. And it's almost impossible to know which is which. So this is sort of a... Uh, a big downfall of how Finale handles uh, these percussions. But just, I think that information alone will um, kind of help you when you get frustrated that you added an instrument that you can't hear. Sometimes you just have to change the device, find a different sound, and then I'm gonna talk a little bit about even finding a different layout. You know, Finale doesn't set these up correctly 100% of the time. I'd say 85, 90% of the time, if you add an instrument here, you'll be good to go, especially if it's a, a pretty common instrument. You'll, you'll, be, uh, you'll be set. But uh, I just want to pull you over to the uh, Finale manual here just to give you an idea of the list of instruments that are available within each device. And I'll put links to this in the description of the video as well. So I'm looking at the Garreton instruments for Finale. Now it says percussion MIDI maps. Uh, these MIDI maps are matching the sound, so this is basically the same list, um, and uh, you can kind of see what's available in the Garreton instruments for Finale, all of these sounds with their uh, accompanying uh, MIDI maps. All right, so that's the Garreton instruments. There's also the Smart Music Soft Synth list, which is a little bit um, uh, smaller. But these are the ones that are available in Smart Music. And uh, Finale uh, with Garreton has this thing called Tap Space Drumline. So there's these other things called VD Lite. Um, these are some other things that are specific to marching band in particular. So uh, I will put links to all three of these um, uh, uh, pages here so that you can have access to see what exactly is available in terms of uh, percussion sounds in Finale. And then aside from, you know, Garreton Instrument and Smart Music, um, if you have Note Performer, Note Performer will have its own set of sounds. Uh, aside from these, you can always add third-party instruments. So I have Contact here. I can add um, uh, Battery, and I'm going to show you a little bit of that later. And when you do that, then the sounds that you have to choose from within the... Um, the interface for that uh, device and then of course you're gonna have to create your own MIDI maps and create your own layouts so that's a whole whole other thing and one more thing to note is that um, in the MIDI audio menu if you have play finale through audio units checked you will have both or all three or both depending on what you have the Garreton smart music and the note performer will all be available but if you're just playing finale through MIDI then the only device that available is the uh, Smart Music Soft Synth. Uh, so just be aware of that. If you don't see your Garreton, it might be that you have uh, Play Finale through MIDI and not through audio units selected there. So let's talk about the rest of the score manager and how it's related to percussion. All this stuff on the left, this is going to work exactly the same as all the other instruments, including the, the full and abbreviated names. You can change these as you want. The auto number style, all of this is exactly the same as any other instrument. Where things start to diverge is on the right uh, corner here, the bottom right corner, um, when we start talking about notation style. Now, any other instrument, including the timpani, which again is a... Um, pitched percussion so it gets standard notation, the notation style is going to read standard and that's the way it should. Uh, for any non-pitched percussion you want this to uh, have percussion selected and by default when you add these instruments it will be selected for you. This is what allows the whole system of the uh, percussion layouts with the MIDI maps and all that stuff. This has to be selected in, for, in order for all of that to work. Now in the button right next to that, it says settings. This is gonna pull up the percussion layout selection. Now the percussion layout is the third layer of the cake, so I'm gonna get into that in more depth in the next video, but it is sort of uh, relevant to um, these instruments within the score manager 
because as I said, finale, um, you know, 90, 85 to 95 percent of the time will set this up correctly. But a lot of times there's a, um, a mismatch between the percussion layout and the instrument that you've chosen. Again, most of the time it will be fine. So in this case, I'm, I'm selecting the drum set here and it's pulling up the percussion layout for the drum set, which is totally uh, perfectly normal. Other times you'll get stuff like, uh, you know, the triangle, which uh, if you look at the settings here, it pulls up the percussion toys, which is ap absolutely correct. The, the uh, triangle is within that uh, sound set, but you may notice something else is that the triangle is set up as a one line instrument. And um, the way that Finale adds this triangle part is it adds it with the percussion toys layout, which is a five staff, a five line staff layout. And you can see um, how, where all of these notes are on the staff and those will not show up correctly, including the triangle, which is way up here. It's not gonna show up correctly on the middle line, which is what the one line staff would be. So again, it doesn't always choose the correct layout. Uh, it's usually an easy fix. Uh, in this case, you could either choose the percussion toys one line or there actually is a one line triangle percussion layout here that you can choose for this triangle instrument, which is what I would suggest in this particular case. Why Finale does not choose this one line triangle for you uh, at the outset is a mystery to me. I think the, the uh, whole system is just, you know, um, built on a lot of old things and they just not everything is updated. So this is one of those situations where um, you may have to go in here and choose the correct layout for this. So you press select and now you get this uh, this one line triangle layout, which makes a lot more sense. It's just the triangle notes and they're on the middle line, which is going to make a lot more sense. So you will have to do weird things like this um, to, to choose the right percussion layout sometimes. The bongos, on the other hand, that I added uh, the bongos will choose the correct bongo percussion layout. And this, again, this is a, a, uh, another one line staff and it's actually putting the notes uh, you can see on the space below the middle and then above the middle. So that will actually work on a one line staff. Again, why it chose the, the correct one for the bongo but not the triangle, I really, I really can't answer that question. Um, occasionally, uh, let's see. Now this, I'm just gonna scroll down here. This, uh, what's called jab three hand drums percussion layout. This is usually the last uh, percussion uh, layout available here, but you see one extra one here called African log drums. Occasionally when you add some instruments, they will actually add the appropriate percussion layout as well, which is handy. And again, it's somewhat inconsistent. I can't, don't have an explanation as to why this is, but occasionally you'll get the um, uh, the correct layout created for you. And again, this just has the uh, the log drum here uh, on the one line staff. So again, it, it's a little bit random, but uh, you know, if you know to look for that, if you know to um, be aware that this is a problem, um, sometimes you can just very simply go into this percussion layout selection from the settings button and just choose a more appropriate um, uh, percussion layout, particularly with a triangle. This really should have selected the one line triangle percussion layout. And of course, all those layouts can be customized and that's actually the, gonna be the bulk of the next couple videos is dealing with that, um, that editor there. So moving on beyond the notation style and the settings and the percussion layout selection here, uh, the color note heads, yes, you can select this for percussion instruments. It will work sort of, but it's kind of meaningless because the color note heads are designed for pitches. So why you'd want to use that? And you'd even have to set up the MIDI map in a certain way. It's just there's really not a, a whole lot of uh, use for the color note heads in percussion notes. Um, although now that I said that, I'm sure somebody will have a, uh, a rebuttal for that, but uh, that's how it goes. Um, transposition will do nothing. You can change this to whatever you want. Obviously, it's, it's a non-pitched percussion part, so you can, it doesn't matter what you select here. Nothing will happen. Same thing with hide key signature. Nothing really is affected there. And then, of course, we have the, uh, the staff. And with percussion and finale, finale will always add percussion as either a five-line staff or a one-line staff with full bar line. You can always change this if you prefer the short bar line for your triangle part. You can uh, select that and you'll see you get the uh, short uh, bar line for the triangle here. 
Um, there's other things you can do. There's a zero line with full bar line that's available for as a staff. Um, but we could also choose the other. And uh, you know what? I wanted to do this on the bongos. I'm just going to show you how to do this. So I'm on the bongos. Instead of one line with full bar line, I'm going to choose other. And uh, when you do that, it will initially set you up with the, the last one that was selected. In this case, the, um, uh, the one line with the, uh, the full bar line. And what we can do is actually we can edit this. So you know what? I don't want to see the uh, middle bar line. I want to see uh, the two lines on either side of the middle bar line. So I could deselect that middle one there and select these uh, the other one. Uh, I guess that would be the G and the D on the treble clef. Uh, this is also where we could change the rests and stuff if you want to. We could, you know, futz with the top bar line, how long that is and everything if you really want to get into that. Uh, but this, is, this would be how you'd kind of very easily just create a, a two-line staff or something. So we can s select OK for my bongos, and you'll see that now my bongos have uh, a two-line staff. Of course, this is all interrelated when you do something like that. Then you have to start talking about editing the bongo instruments so that they actually go on those staffs. And again, we'll get into this later, but very quickly, um, you know, you can just kind of drag these into the G for the low ones and then the D uh, for the high ones. And then your bongos will go on those lines. So again, it's all it's all interconnected. Um, just a, a few different things you can do there, and that, again, that's just the uh, the staff lines. You can choose one or five, um, but again, the five line and the one line is how Finale will set them up, uh, set up all non-pitch percussion. It'll choose one or the other of those. And then the last option we have is for the clef. You know, there's a, there's two percussion clefs that are set up in Finale by uh, default. You have this one here, which I think is the more standard percussion clef, but you also have this other alternate version, which is the, uh, the sort of uh, rectangle, uh, which will give you this type of a clef. Um, that's also available as well. And incidentally, if you don't want a clef, you can actually choose the blank clef over here so that you will get no clef uh, for your bongo drums in this case. So uh, a few different options there. But uh, so that's that's that. I think this is the more standard uh, percussion clef these days anyway. So, yeah, so that's it. You know, that's uh, percussion in the score manager. Um, again, it's fairly easy to add instruments. <laughs> it's hard to say. 85 to 95 percent of the time, it's, everything will be fine. It'll be set up correctly, and you're good to go. But you know, it does get a little fussy. The the, the files are not completely like you know 100 um, percent solid in Finale in terms of being updated with you know choosing the correct uh, percussion layout and whether or not there's even a percussion layout. It's not 100 percent uh, you know set up so that it's even correct selecting the correct sound. So percussion does get a little bit frustrating. In this, in this aspect, but hopefully now that you understand what's going on, maybe if you run into those scenarios, you, you'll have a, 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 a way to, to try and find a fix for it. All right, so that is um, uh, percussion in the score manager, um, the first video here. Uh, come back, the next thing we're going to look at is we're going to start looking at that uh, percussion layout editor. And that's really where a lot of the magic happens in terms of uh, customizing your staves and how things look uh, in your percussion part. So uh, that'll be exciting and it'll be fun to do. So, all right, I appreciate it. Once again, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, yeah, I will see you soon on the next video.